the first question. Coach, it's been a couple weeks since you've uh, aimed, got this new practice squad on both these walk-ons. How's the adjustment period been going so far now that you're a few weeks in? Uh, they've been phenomenal. Um, you can tell that they've been around for a while, though, because their energy is still good, but they're having more mental mistakes. Um, just, you know, the grind of it. And, and now we've kind of started to incorporate them in more things that we're doing of meetings and film in hopes that maybe at some point if somebody has to play that they know what we're doing. Uh, so lifting weights and going to all the meetings and everything like that is taking a little bit of a mental toll on them, but they've been phenomenal. Are you expecting more roster additions to happen with those guys? Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know where we are. I, don't, I hope I don't not get ahead of it. I think, um, I think Diamante and Cade Wagner both cleared through compliance and will be added. Uh, likely will dress on Wednesday. How, how has their involvement changed since, say, that first week with the team? Well, first, I mean, A, really didn't, I mean, obviously seeing what they could do in that trial wasn't a whole lot other than just that they got some feel for basketball. And so it took a while to figure out what they can learn, what they can do. And so it was primarily just, hey, learn the other team's stuff. And now we're starting to try to get them to learn what we do as well. Uh, again, and that way practice flows a little bit better. And, you know, again, who, who knows if some one of these games somebody has to go in we want them to be as prepared as possible. Is it is it difficult at all as, as a coach to balance teaching them and, and getting them up to speed with what you have to do with your eight guys who have been here all year? Um, not really. I mean, it's not, it's not probably the most convenient thing, I would say, but it's necessary. Um, and, and the thing that's helped is our guys have really helped them along. They, they really try to talk to them through it. And uh, so they've been a big part of it. What, uh, what are the biggest challenges that Texas Tech's going to pose for you guys? Uh, well, they're, they're really physical. Uh, and I just told our guys what they try to do is they try to make you play at the speed offensively that they want you to play at by pressuring the ball, really getting after you and causing deflections, taking charges, kind of frustrating you into tough shots. Um, you know, I, I think you flip a coin on them or K-State is a better defensive team. They take more chances. K State's more kind of solid, and make it hard on you. Um, but they're both really good. So that's where you start. The defense is you know, one of the top two or three in the country by all metrics. Um, and then offensively, they got they got a lottery pick. So <laughs> you start there and, and figure out how to slow him down to give yourself a chance. When you talk to fans, administrators, what kind of vibe are you getting from them about this season? Um, I, I don't I don't know. I mean, I think everybody. Still very supportive. Um, it's obviously a unique season in a lot of ways, um, but I haven't got the sense that anyone's um, no one's happy that we're not winning right now. But I think they understand where we are, and how we got here, and that we're doing things to try to get us back to where we can have sustainable success over a period of time because we do things the right way along the ride. How much easier does that make your job to know you have have that backing, have that support? I've said this uh, publicly um, multiple times. Mike, Mike Holder is the biggest reason any of this has a chance because, A, he's the only athletic director in the country two years ago that would have had any hopes or thoughts of hiring me. Uh, and so when, when we had the same type of vision on how it gets done and what it takes, um, that's where you start. And, and obviously his leadership from there uh, kind of permeates through the rest of the department. Has this season in any way changed your approach to the future, perspective on what's coming? Um, not necessarily. Um, it's, it's, it's changed. You know, we actually have to be more aggressive recruiting now than maybe we thought we would, uh, but we always recruit pretty aggressively anyway, so that helps. Um, and the other thing is I've learned a lot about how to manage crisis, <laughs> really. It's, Probably the biggest takeaway is I think when I retire, I'm going to um, give seminars on crisis management. Did you expect to have to deal with that? And obviously not to this level, but at all. Is that a, a, Yeah, a, I mean, I've gotten advice from a lot of coaches that, you know, it's a big part of the job is, is you know, discipline. And if you, if you have standards, then they only mean something if you enforce them. And, and if you don't, then, you know, again, the standards change and now you, you're being run by the people in the program and not necessarily leading 
so you, sometimes you got to take hard stances, but I think it's going to be beneficial for us. Thank you.